Okay, I'm here with uh, 19, around 65, Suita Model 46 cash register that I found this machine on the eastern shore of Maryland in a old tractor trailer that a lady had and I actually got this machine for free as part of a little set that I was buying from her. I got two of these. This machine was in very very bad condition as you can probably see from some of the earlier videos. This machine was completely trashed. All inside was really really bad. So what I did is since the Suita is my favorite register besides the National 52 I have a bunch of Suitas and most of them don't work and I've been working on them for a long time so what I did is I took a bunch of parts that I had and I decided to take little bits of all my machines and make one so I did a complete restore with parts from different machines to make one great machine which this is the machine that ended up as the result so it's all original just the parts have been restored the top counter I mean the top plate is the original um, customer plate that the customer would see on the other side I'll show you this side what they would do is this would show them where to go for service so if you were the customer in McDonald's in about 1970 this is what you would see at the counter they're all stainless steel which is what they use in most food places and it's very shiny and I this case was in really bad shape when I first started with it. So I replaced everything on this and the motor was replaced. A few gears were replaced. I don't have the keys but luckily this machine doesn't need them because it's set in the register mode. Now if I wanted to Z the machine out to total it I have a problem because I need to replace the key mechanisms or get a locksmith to make me a key which can't seem to find that so I'm gonna run it a few and demonstrate exactly how this machine works for anybody who never seen a cash register work first off in here I'm gonna turn the printer on so that we can get a receipt Amazingly, the receipt paper is perfect. The uh, ink and printer, I've replaced that also. So you have two modes here. You have just regular ring up, and then you have charge, which actually in McDonald's, they didn't have charge. This original internal of this machine wasn't McDonald's, but it's been converted. So for this demonstration, we'll just use the star. So you push the key, and when you push it you can turn it and it locks it so then you have your departments one two three four and five and your tax key so this could be whatever you want it to be so we'll just push one and one dollar and ninety five cents and this is called the motor bar and it rings up then you hit each time you have to hit the department so you would just ring up and then if you hit this again it gives you a subtotal you see the yes and you can hit your tax 10 cents total the machine the drawer pops and you get your receipt and for being an old machine it does the same thing as new modern machines it cuts it for you and so this is the receipt that you get and you can see this printer prints perfect and unlike cash registers today if you notice I'll have to sit this down if 
you notice on this, the sail rings from the bottom and the total ends up on the top. Versus receipts you may see today, they start here and move down and your total's at the bottom. So on the suite of 46, your total is at the top. There's only one other thing I want to do to this machine, and I'm not exactly sure if I want to do it, is change the print mechanism to where it will actually say, thank you, McDonald's. That's a little tougher job, and I'm actually working on that. So that's the end of this restoration of this Suita. You can see it is in perfect condition, and... I'm dating it to around 1965 to 70. It was used in McDonald's all the way through 1983 when I originally got the machine. The original last stamp was 1983. So that's the last day of use. Okay, that's it.